Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. We're loading up the Clash of Clans app right now, and we've got a Halloween update. Just dropped today. I'm super stoked on this. Halloween update is great. I mean, the winter one is cool, but this one's just... I don't know. There's just something special about it. And not only is it the seasonal update, but we also got some good content. We got new defenses, such as the Mortar. What? Mortar at Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, and Town Hall 10? We all got an extra mortar. So every, nobody can complain about this update, except for, you know, Town Hall 7s and lower. But, you know, most of the players in this game, the serious ones are Town Hall 8, 9, and 10. And they all got something in this update. And that's awesome. We got this skeleton trap, too. This thing is cool. I got a replay for you in a little bit. Um, where Max Goiwi goes up against a base with those things. Maxed. So we'll see Goiwi against three maxed skeleton traps. That's pretty cool. Those things work pretty good. You'll see. Um, they could be a game changer, especially with like witches in the clan castle as well. Also, here we've got clan description. You've got a lot of more customizability, and you've got a longer clan description itself. That's good. It's like the the clan message you can send got a lot longer in the last update. You can do the same here. War frequency. Not all clans like to war all the time. Mine does, but not everyone does. And where your clan is at. I think a lot of clans are international, but if you want to be with your homeboys from Antarctica, put it down. <laughs> be like, yo, let's uh, let's all band together, from Antarctica. So, a lot of good content here. Tis the season for Halloween. We've also got some decorations. Not decorations, what are they called? Um, obstacles, sort of like bushes and stuff, but the special one is a gravestone. Oh, it looks so good. There's like a hand coming out of of like a glowing hole in the ground. It's awesome. I, ho I think they're gonna stay after the Halloween update, so try to get them on the edge of your base. If you look at my base, I've got decorations all the way around the edge, and sometimes that helps push like bushes and trees to be spawned right on the edge so they're not even on the map try to do that my favorite part of the update is the league bonus look at this master three league bonus is now a hundred thousand it was seventy five thousand before so that's twenty five well yeah <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a good increase that's a thirty three percent increase actually so I mean that's incredible that's gonna make master three farming a lot better it's gonna just give a little shot of loot into the game and we could always use that it's not always easy to get quick loot but if you have a steady loot bonus coming in that helps a lot it's gonna help me a lot and it's gonna help high cup farmers a lot the lower leagues now nah, they didn't change much my other account that's in gold league you know it's not gonna affect it much but you know, more loot in the game wherever it is is good for everyone because people move around loot moves around and this is exactly what we need the clan wars bonuses also were raised a little bit i haven't seen the numbers yet because i haven't done clan wars yet since the update but i am later and uh, I, I believe it's like a 20 percent increase maximum on uh, on your clan wars bonus that's awesome too so we've just got loot coming from every which way you know uh, I, th I think this is going to be great. So I'm showing you a replay here. Just a little funny replay. I couldn't find any loot. And I found this poor Town Hall 9. And just was like. Took out my rage on him. Because I couldn't find any loot. So this is right here. Why I would recommend. You know. Why are you in Masters League. When you got like level 1 expos. And you know. Basically Town Hall 9 defenses. Besides your expos. Max your stuff before you do any sort of trophy pushing. That's that's my advice for everybody. <laughs> you guys know I I support maxing stuff and trophy pushing can kind of uh, take away from your farming. So don't do it until you're ready. This was a cool raid. I had uh, Barch didn't plan on getting into the core, but I ended up having two witches in the clan castle. There's a cool strategy where you you know drop the remainder of your Barch with the witches. And then your heroes, and the witches kind of, you know, block for your uh, heroes as they crash into the core. And you can get a two-star with Barch that way. 
with just a couple witches and barch and heroes. And, you know, you'd need spells on a hard base too, but it's kind of cool. I might try that on a tough base sometime soon. I've seen other YouTubers do it, and it's fun. But this base was easy, uh, easy three-star. So, like I said, I am most stoked about the influx of loot into the game through loot bonuses. The fourth mortar is, um, it's great for base design, and it's great for lower town halls. I mean, it'll affect town hall tens as well, but, I mean, town hall eights, guys, this boosts your defense a lot. This is significant. I mean, hmm, let's see. I, I think, to me, the best defense at Town Hall 8 is the Mortar. The Mortar and the Wizard Tower. When they're maxed, they can be mean. Now you've got four Mortars. And at level 6, I mean, if you've got two of those things pounded down on your farming troops, you're in trouble. So, I'm going to revamp all my designs. A lot of people are asking me in the comments, like... You know, there's probably going to be hundreds of people asking me in the comments, Hey, what do I do with the fourth mortar? Well, you just wait. First, right now, you need to get it upgraded to at least level six. So put it outside your base and upgrade it. That's going to take a few weeks. And in the meantime, I will revamp all my bases. We're going to change them around a little bit. Some will be easier than others. The Town Hall 8 ones are going to need a lot more changing than like the Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 ones. But we will change them around and it's going to be so sick especially for you town hall eight guys to have a fourth mortar i mean wow it's going to change farming a lot i'm of course doing my max town hall eight series right now and i'm starting to do dark elixir farming i'm going to show that to you guys soon and that's going to be a little harder once we got four mortars in in every town hall eight base but it is what it is you know the game gets harder you evolve that's what we do. That's what we've always done. So, all in all, I'm, I'm stoked on it. You guys must be stoked too. I mean, Town Hall 8s could not have expected to get this mortar. I was thinking it was going to be Town Hall 10 only. And it turns out 8, 9, and 10 gets it. So here's the replay of a Go Wee Wee, Go Wipe hybrid against those skeleton traps. This is really cool. So, I watched this a few times because they're hard to see. They're just little witch skeletons. Luckily, they have um, they have a little skull, like a check them out. They got a little skull like animation over their heads, so you can kind of see where they are. Here, he used a lightning spell on the clan castle and uh, got some of those skeletons as well. But there's some in the bottom left of the core there coming out as well. They they move fast, and there's a lot of them. I believe there's four that come out of the maxed ones, the maxed witch skeletons. And if you have three, that's 12 skeletons coming out of just traps. Then if you have two witches in your CC as well, you've got, I don't know, I think each witch can summon, what, six or eight skeletons at once. So you can have a lot of skeletons on the playing field on defense. And... You know, that increases it. That in that increases defense. That makes things harder. and It's awesome. I love it. You know, the game evolves. We evolve too. So, everyone's been saying this might make Valkyries have a comeback. Well, you can't call it a comeback if she was never in it. Valkyrie never really took off. You know, Valk has the potential to be such a great troop like the Wizard, but, you know, she doesn't have range. She doesn't... She can't shoot over walls. I think that's the biggest fault. But she does great splash damage. She gets right up against things and spins around and does that splash damage. That'll be perfect against these skeletons. So, a lot of people have been saying that's where we're going to see the Valk in, uh, in raids just to counter those skeletons. Big shout out here to Crimson Sky. They're another popular forum clan, farming clan, real old great clan, and uh, these guys are great. We just got matched up with them. We didn't plan on warring with them or anything, so it should be a really fun war. Big shout out to them. Also, uh, Nick from DTP, you raided me the other day. <laughs> uh, 
It's cool. I tried to uh, tried to revenge you just with Barch. I wasn't going to go all out or anything. But you had a shield. Too bad. I'll, I'll get you sometime soon. Nick only had Barch against me, and he tried his best, but <laughs> he didn't quite get 50%. I have kind of a hard base to get 50% on, so you can't blame him there. But at least he tried. You should always go up against people if you if you know someone that you see. You know, if, you've, if you're searching and you see someone you know, I mean... Um, just attack them. It doesn't matter if you fail. Who cares? It's fun. You know, we're a community here. We can all laugh sometimes. All right, guys, that's it for today. Just wanted to talk about this update, and it looks sick. You guys are stoked. I know you're stoked about the new mortar. Like I said, I'm going to get the new designs out soon. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.